morning, Mark. Okay. How's it going? <laughs> All right. Folks, don't get used to this weather. It's not staying, unfortunately. It's staying today. It is staying today. <laughs> oh, yes. It's going to go straight from summer straight into autumn. Well, it's going to be summer. <laughs> Two days of it. <laughs> I tell you what, it pretty much is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if this was if this was early May, yeah. I'd think yes. We're doing all right. Yeah. That was today, last year. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't see the uh, markings yeah. on the road for the snow. Yeah, well, I'm pleased that's not the case this year because yeah. as you've noticed, it looks like I basically decided to not bother with 19s this year. Yeah, well, what's the point, you know? Okay, so it's gonna get colder again, but it's, I can't see us having a, a week of snow and ice and you know temperatures regularly below seven. And honestly. nothing to do with the fact that you absolutely love the look of arachnids. No, nothing to do with that. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what, I had forgotten how much fun this is. Why is it wherever I am, the sun is behind me? There we go. And also, I'm just grateful we've had this little blast of nice weather because it's really helped to kind of wake me up and get me going. Oh, yes. Anyway, today, I wanted to talk about what I consider to be the the signs that EVs are properly in the mainstream. People need to want to buy EVs. The other thing, is that the manufacturers have to want to make them. Now, wanting to make EVs might sound like, you know, why, why would they not want to? Well, they'll not want to if they can't make money on it. If people are like, oh, well, they make more money on petrol and diesel. I don't actually think that's a genuine reason that would hold them back. If people wanted EVs and they could make money from them, then they wouldn't care that they made less money than their existing vehicles if it meant that they could steal market share from their competitors. Which of course they would do if they were the only people who were making EVs in any volume. So people need to want them, manufacturers need to be able to make money from them, and then the other thing is, the manufacturers need to actually be able to ramp up the production. I suppose things like infrastructure, I don't really consider that to be the issue it used to be. I mean, just look at that contactless payment for a quick charge that I did yesterday. That would have been like headline news for me just 12 months ago. And they're everywhere now. Instavolt, seems great actually. I, re I really like their charger. I particularly liked the speed of getting the thing going. Because if it takes five minutes to start your charge, that is not what good looks like when you might have to be there for 40 minutes charging anyway. Right, now I'm going to concentrate on riding a little bit and less holding cameras out. Not that I don't love holding a camera out whilst riding very slowly. Going to be remembering this place. This is awesome. Yeah, it is pretty damn sweet, isn't it? It pump tracks, pump tracks, and evolve boards with the all-terrain wheels. They were like, literally actually designed for each other. Well, maybe not the pump track actually. We need to come back with Will some point. Yeah, he'll appreciate this definitely. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. let's go grab some coffee or something. I drink a lot less coffee these days, you know. Uh, what were we talking about a second ago? Uh, you've just come out of a petrol car. Yeah, so okay, so obviously, I've, as everyone knows, I've just come out of a petrol car. Get this right. This is, I don't even know what size the engine is, but it won't be a litre, it will be less. 
650, I think, in age Something car. ridiculous. Race under 650, yep. I think. Yeah, the car weighs like nothing, like a ton, right? So, you'd think it would be relatively efficient. I drove it nowhere except to and from Jasper School, and I think I did one trip down to somewhere like South Mims, in that kind of area, in the whole of three months. And you know, it still cost me like 150 quid a month to fuel that thing. Yeah. Which means that I spent almost as much in one month as it would cost me to run around in the Tesla for three months. Mm. But bear in mind, the Tesla is doing, I mean, I think I literally, in a month, I would do a few hundred miles in the, uh, in the smart car. In my Tesla, I did over 200 miles in like three days. <laughs> the whole thing is just, I, I'm just, I'm, blows my mind. Just, we need more, that's the problem is we need to get to that point where manufacturers are properly incentivized to actually make the things. Because that's a large part of the problem. People do want electric cars with good range. I think we can say that fairly confidently. I mean, just look at the back orders for ne the um, Kia Nero and the, the other one, the, the Hyundai Kona EV. If you've got the range and you've got the cars, then the next part of the puzzle is the manufacturers have to actually want to make them and they won't want to make them unless they make money on them. That's the bit that's missing now, is we need to get to the point where it's worth it for the, I think it is starting to get worth it for the manufacturers. The problem is that they've got to be able to access the batteries cheaply enough. And it's a supply and demand problem with batteries. The price won't drop until they build more factories. So they're building more factories, but it takes time. Have you heard about, um, the Hyundai Kona in, in the US. I think, I think Hyundai is, is fully down with the idea of selling them you know, across the whole of the US. But at the moment, you can only really order one in, a, in one of the ZEV credit states because they can't make enough batteries. I mean, I think both the E-Nero and the um, Hyundai Kona are basically looking at heading in the direction of 12 months 12 month wait yeah. if you can order one at all yeah, which yeah which is obviously if the, if the company is making money then they will be wanting to fulfill that demand and it must be that they just can't get hold of the bits they need the bit that i would expect to be most affected by that is the batteries i mean after all isn't that the reason why tesla built a ginormous battery factory i believe it is but that and getting the price down but you know price and quantity are a kind of two halves of the same coin. When are you going to start moving into professional YouTube then? Because I always see you with these cameras. Yeah, indeed. All <laughs> I think all the gear, no idea, probably thumbs it up. But all the gear and some idea. Yeah, but that's what's so great about YouTube. It doesn't matter if you've got no idea. You just put it up, someone will like it, I promise you. Just saying it doesn't matter what rubbish you put up on YouTube, someone likes it, right? I mean, obviously, you try and make the videos as fun and all the rest of it as you can, but ultimately, better to put something up than to not put something up, I certainly think. to begin with. And I've always said, when I'm in a position to upload regularly, that's what I'll be doing. So April, then? Yeah, basically. <laughs> My God, are we here already? They don't make these lakes big enough. Cheese and cucumber does sound quite appetizing. I am such a pleb. I was just going to say, I noticed the other day that uh, my climate works completely differently now now i can turn the seats on and off and yeah. stuff like that which i never used to be able to do yeah. so that's i mean it, i love that about this you know it's a four and a half year old car uh, no it's not and it's, it's a few it's weeks getting, old it's getting better and <laughs> yeah, better yeah you know yeah. it's still getting better i mean yeah. okay they're not adding hardware that wasn't on there but yeah. it is becoming a better vehicle to own mm. Hundred and seven thousand miles yeah you wouldn't look at your car and go it's done over 100,000 miles, not at all. Well, with any luck, it's going to look like that when it's done 200,000 miles. Mm. It's going in for a service soon. First service in 50,000 miles, so hopefully that's okay. It, it still drives is, fine. The thing is, you know Tesla will look after you as a Tesla customer. If you yeah. turn up at service, 
you are not a victim. On every other <coughs> internal combustion engine car, and I won't yeah. name, I've had many manufacturers, you are very much the victim. You yeah. are very much the profit stream. How can we well, possibly lift your leg up? I know, you can have screen wash. Now I know that's a controversial subject with Tesla because a lot of Tesla owners don't even know that actually you can fill your screen wash up under the, uh, under the hood. But uh, right. yeah, there, there is a screen wash bottle there. It never yeah. runs out because it's about the size of that cafe. But, uh, um, is it? I always said it was quite small. <laughs> what do you but think? Now you, you mention it, it has never you, run out. Never run so. out. Yeah. But you, I, can't, I can't think it was which manufacturer it was. I think it was a German manufacturer that beginning with the letter B, I believe. But anyway, I went there. I think I, think I got charged like six pounds for screen wash. <laughs> and there was nothing wrong with the screen wash. But when it goes in, I, I top it up every weekend. Yeah. They drain it out, then they fill it up. And, and charge you, you six it. quid. Why do they charge you six quid? Because without phoning up, they can't charge you six quid. It's an yep. easy six quid to make. Yeah, well, I'm sure they said they, they had to like empty it so they could make sure it was the right concentration of yeah. of liquid and water and, and ionized water. Nothing and, to do yeah. with turning a shilling. No, nothing at all. Of course not. Nothing. Charging you six quid for something yep. that was worth 10p. Yeah. That's one thing that, uh, that I had noticed that over time the bearings in the in the fan at the front, they had definitely got past their best. Whereas now, it's whisper quiet again, just like it was when it was new. Oh yes. So I'm to say goodbye. Have yourself a good one, mate. Cheers. Another fun day. Still can't quite get my head around, well, this. Oh, really enjoyed that. Getting out in the sun on my board. What's not to love? Oh, and I got to have a nice little drive in my car as well. I think that's probably about the end of the fun and games for today. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you don't already. And I'll see you in the next episode of my vlog. Almost a daily vlog. Soon, we're getting there. Bye. I think I just about managed to do that without dropping the camera. Yet. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all coming back to me. Do want to buy them? Oh, that was a muddy bit I just went through. Oh well. <laughs> it is February after all.